effects, but here's, here's this very simple animation that I've really used just as a way to demonstrate a few shortcut keys for the timeline to make this quite simple to animate. Okay, so here's just the background. So let's just create the box. I'm going to do a new solid and I'm going to make it 300 by 300 pixels. Okay, let's call that box. All right, there we go. And I'm going to move that, use the uh, align tools here. If you don't see those, you can find them in the window menu. Get that down the bottom over on the side. And I'm going to make sure my snapping's on. Here it is. And snap my anchor point just to this corner. So I've got my anchor point tool here, my pan behind tool on, which I can activate by pressing Y. Okay, so I've got my anchor point there. And I can go back to my selection tool now. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the R tool for rotation. And I'm going to add a keyframe. And I'm going to jump forward 10, uh, 10 frames. So to do that, I can hold down Shift and Command or Shift and Control on a PC and just press the forward arrow. And now I'm 10 frames forward. So I'm going to just uh, also hit Shift, Command and D to split that layer and delete the top one. Okay, now on this layer, Okay, I'm going to type, there we are, I'll make it a little bigger so you can see. I'm going to type rotation of uh, minus 90. So it's going to do a boom. Okay, so, so what I'm then going to do is duplicate this layer, command D. Over here, and I'm going to make some copies of this to go across the timeline. Okay, so I'm going to hit P and I'm going to type at the end of this, there's my position. Now, my, my box is 300 in size, so, so if I put minus 300, okay, it'll jump across to minus 300. And I'll do that, duplicate, P, so I'll just each time minus 300. Duplicate, P, I'm going to need like seven of these. Minus 300. Okay, duplicate, P, so each time it's just moving along to the next spot. Minus 300. Okay, duplicate, P, minus 300. I think I've got enough there. Uh, let's have a look. I'll do one more. Just, yeah, need to fill this in. Duplicate, P, minus 300. There we are. All along there. So, obviously, they're all just doing that at the moment. So, I want them to go one after each other. So what I could do now is quite simply uh, go to 10 frames ahead, which we did earlier, just by pressing Shift, Command and Forward. Now if I select this layer and just press the left square bracket key, it will now jump to, to the next uh, 10 frames. And, I'll, and then I'll do Go forward 10 frames and select this layer and press the same bracket key. And then I'll jump forward 10 frames with the same shift command forward key and select this layer and press this bracket. Okay. And then I'll do, and then I'll just keep repeating that. I'll go forward 10 frames. I'll press that and then I'll go forward 10 frames and I'll select that and press the left square bracket again and the final one I'll go forward 10 frames and then I will press the left square bracket okay and now I've got boom 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 yeah because uh, so really the purpose of this animation was just to uh, introduce 
some really useful shortcuts. So jumping forward 10 frames and um, using those square bracket keys to jump to where the playhead is. And also just being able to type a plus or minus value in the position. Okay, you could do that. You could use plus or minus for, for other uh, properties too. Scale, rotation. So you can just add rather than moving it along on you know with the mouse we can just add a, a, a number to each value for each layer and move it along by a specific amount which is useful so there you go that's our walking cube so thanks for watching buddies